Hello, welcome back to Little Codex. Today I'm going to be telling you about the Instamatic 304 camera, and we're going to be doing a little bit of repair on this camera. Um, the 304 was released in 1965, and it ran until 1969. It uses a Kodar F8 41 millimeter lens. It uh, uses a flash cube on the top there. Um, shutter speed was either 1 40th of a second or 1 90th of a second, depending on whether or not you had your old flash cube installed on the top of it. It used two uh, AAA batteries to, uh, to be able to set that flash off. Uh, the 304, similar to the Instamatic 300, used the uh, selenium light meter on the top here. It's basically just like the 300, except instead of using uh, the pop-up AG1 flash, it used the flash cube. It retailed for about $45 back in 1965. The 300 was released in 1963. So the repair that I'm going to be doing on the 304 today is this front panel here. So he's uh falling off and even the little Kodak emblems come off so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll get started on uh, this uh, simple repair so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove this um, piece of uh, vinyl leatherette here on the front. It's attached to a piece of metal. So we're going to get started on that. As you can see, it's kind of peeling up all around there. Of metal. It's kind of rusty, so we're going to get that um, taken care of also. So I heated up um, some water. It's just a little warm, and I'm going to put that in there to kind of soften that up a little bit. next thing I'm going to do is I have some rust remover so I'm going to um, soak this in that rust remover so I'll get that right now. Alright so I got a little shallow dish here. Put a glove on. Anytime you're messing with chemicals. I'm just using this rust oleum rust remover rust dissolver jelly. there on the 
fight. Okay, so we have to wait for about um, 15 minutes and then we'll come back and I'll clean this and I'll give it a little sanding to, uh, to clean that up. So I will see you guys back here um, in just a second, but for me it'll be about 15 minutes. While we're waiting on that to work, what I can do is We'll get this area all cleaned up. So, what I'm going to do is get some isopropyl alcohol and we're just going to clean up this area here. We'll get all this old glue off of this area. Okay, so we got that pretty clean, um, clean enough to be able to reapply our little Kodak emblem and uh, reapply our metal and our, uh, our piece of uh, vinyl back on top. I'm gonna do a quick clean of uh, of all the Kodak made in the USA emblem. All right, so we got pretty much all of that excessive gunk off of there. He's feeling pretty smooth, so he'll be able to slot right back into the front of our camera when we are ready to go ahead and apply the uh, piece of metal and that piece of blood wrap. Right, so let me go check on that stuff and we'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about 15 to 20 minutes and we are going to out. You can see that rust has pretty much been removed. Um, I'm going to sand it a little bit just to get the rest off. First, I'm going to clean it all off. Okay, so we are back, and you can see this is still has some marks on it and stuff, but it's not rusty like it was before. But what I'm going to do is take some of this 220 grit sandpaper, and we're just going to sand this guy. So this way our glue will 
stick nicely to this. I even get the back a little sanding too. Okay, so that flattened this out from all that glue that was on there. And we are ready to reapply. So we have our camera and our two base pieces. Let's go ahead and pull our, yeah, it's not really super soft, but it's better than it was before. And we'll dry this guy off. If you're going to use this type of glue, use it in a well ventilated area. I'm using this E6000. You can use it for metal or wood or plastic, whatever you want to use it for. Alright. So, first thing I'm going to do is get some of this guy on a little cotton swan and we are going to place this in front of our camera. I'm not going to go too thick on this. Then I'll apply this on the front. We're going to be putting the piece of metal and our little insignia. All right, so the glue is spread out. Thank you. 
All right, so what I'm gonna do is these little corners wanna peel up. I am going to get some little weights, put it on there, let it set up. But as you can see, we have it all reapplied there. This is the Kodak Instamatic 304. I hope you liked my video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. It really helps our channel, doesn't cost you anything. And until next time, have a great day.